hope this video finds you and leaves you better than when it found you. So for today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a little, little, little bit of a different type of format. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch with comfy, cozy vibes that are pretty relaxing. So, I have been playing Moira a lot because I really like doing the healing aspect, but still being able to provide a decent amount of offense to everything. Yesterday, while I was streaming, I knew that um, a lot of my people in chat was talking about the new Ariana skin that hit on Fort, 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 Fortnite. I didn't really think that this was very difficult. skill, but when I play this game, when I play this game, I get very tunneled, or I get tunnel vision very easily. I was going to 
this so that I can get good at a game if I was going to practice so that I could get good at a game. Um, I'm going to have to do it off stream because I put in hours and hours and hours and hours of gameplay into games and I don't get any better while I'm streaming. But, but if I am watching my own playback and I am playing the game off stream, start getting better. I start learning the mechanics of the game. And when my focus is split between chat and streaming and having a bright, bright light, um, then I have issues with focusing on techniques focusing on different ways to play the game or I get creative with that. Like right here, um, this was actually a bad use of my ult, which is a common theme during this game and the next game. up and I accidentally clicked the button that I use uh, binded to my ult when I was just trying to move forward. I, I didn't have my hand placement all the way on the keys and that's okay. Um, but that's just kind just a little pause because I had a chatter that I, I had a chatter that um, I had to time out a little bit and I don't really have to do that very often but when I have people when I have people talking um, excessively Aside from that, um, it's not a big deal. I think everything is just fine. Um, but I think that we've been doing pretty well this match. And commentating and talking about my matches um, is very interesting to me because never really focused a lot on narrating what I'm doing or narrating my thought process behind this. And to be honest with you, I think this might benefit my gameplay a lot. Um, I get distracted easily. I get distracted easily. And I'm starting seeing a lot of things that I think that I can improve upon. Like, in this match right here, I am uh, noticing a lot. Um, I'm deviating from the group and get to tunnel vision. Like, when I was chasing the mercy, I, I, I noticed 
noticed that um, I not haven't really. I shouldn't do that. I should have just stayed with the group and let her go wherever she wanted to go because the objective is to escort the payload. Um, and sometimes I get myself distracted on this entire, I need this specific character to die, I need to win, and in order for me to win, I gotta beat them. Um, and to be honest with you, I do that a lot. Like right now, I sh should have just let Lucio go off and do whatever he wanted to do, or whatever he was trying to do, so I could stay with the collective and get the payload escorted. Um, and there's give and takes with that as well. For me, like, my internal clock or debate on if it's worth it to deviate a little bit so that I can take this character out is not always the best. <coughs> now in this situation, we did win, thank goodness. In this situation, we did win. Um, I very rarely get play of the game, but in this specific stream, I think that I got play of the game twice, which is kind of nice. Um, but I really like playing Overwatch. Um, I started. I started playing Overwatch when I think it was the. Before Christmas, maybe a year or two ago, I played it uh, a few months before. Excuse me. I played it a few months before the holiday season. systems and everything, but it's a lot better now. It's a lot better now. Um, and I'm almost 100% sure that my first week of playing this game is was terrible. Like some people start out and pick it up pretty decently. I think your average gamer would do that. But I did not. I, I was so bad at this game because I didn't like it in the beginning. And I'm going to be completely honest. I have absolutely no idea what has changed for me. But works, and it is kind of perfect. Um, I don't, I don't get it, I don't know, I, I have no clue, but, um, I started streaming the game, and it was awful. Uh, I don't really think anybody originally wanted to watch, um, but I used to main on stream by Daylight, which is the game that I, honestly, that I'm best at. I'm, I'm pretty decent. Um, and right now, I'm on a comfy, cozy, relaxing Minecraft kick. And I think that what I am going to do is I am going to uh, going forward, I'm going to do um, ASMR commentary my gameplay um, and kind of talk to you and narrate through things so that you can get the best quality ASMR and still have the gameplay on this channel. Um, I just would like to explore if this is a good type of format for you and if you like this. So in this video, if you enjoyed it, I would really like you to please put a comment down below and let me know if you liked the 
this type of format for a video. Um, I know for my first time spectating and commenting on my gameplay like this for you, um, I have not done a lot of communicating for the game, and I honestly think that that's okay, because you're getting the visual stimulation of the game, but you're still getting the up-close whispers, and this is actually the way that I feel like I can give you the best possible quality, because on stream I can focus on the gameplay and I can focus on talking to chat, but when it comes to um, doing a soft-spoken whisper for you to give you the best audio ASMR effect, I really think that I need to go through and edit the video and film over top of my gameplay and kind of do a voiceover type deal like this so that you can get the best of both worlds. Um, I just think that it is a good way for me to do this, so I really hope that you like this format because that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, my videos going forward probably are not going to be more than an hour long. Um, I'm honestly probably going to try to stick to somewhere between 15 to 30 minute videos for this channel because pulling the gameplay and spectating and um, filming and editing all of that into, into one um, is going to be a little bit more time consuming, but I'm wanting to try it and do it if it is something that you guys like better. So I thought this was kind of funny because, and yes, I did use an ult here just because I thought that they were going to push all the way up, and so I ended up yet again wasting an ult. That's okay. Um, but uh, for DPS, I started out as a Soldier 76 main, and I'm just kind of trying to experiment with different heroes to figure out what I like best, what works for me. I do really like Cassidy and Hanzo, but if Han I don't like that Hanzo's arrows are projectile. I If they were hit scan, which is almost kind of unrealistic, I think that that would be more ideal for me. And that's why I like Soldier 76, because his bullets are hit scan, but the projectile um, that he shoots as his extra grenade, it is a projectile type, so you have to kind of aim it where they're going to be. For Cassidy, um, his, all of his stuff is hit scan, and I think that that's why I like him so much. Um, the hit scan, I almost said employs the hit scan heroes, is what I lean towards the most, because it's difficult for me to predict movement sometimes when I'm talking to chat. Um, I'm so, I do have a little bit, a little, little, little bit of a request. If you don't mind to like this video, put a comment down below and let me know if you like this format of a video better. I will start doing all of my gaming ASMR videos this way. I have a lot of gaming content. I can pump out a lot, a lot, a lot of videos this way on this channel. My main channel is a little bit more traditional, structured ASMR videos, but this channel will be structured this way. If you like it, then please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know, and I will be putting out more content like this. Thank you so much, you guys, and have a good